Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT Vision. I got access to it sometime during the night or early this morning, and honestly, I've been waiting all day to make this video. It, it's super exciting. I've been playing with it a bit, and I'm going to show you some of the cool things that I've done with it so far. This is going to be an awesome video. Thank you for sticking around. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and take a look at ChatGPT Vision. Real quick though, before we dive into the video, I just want to let you guys know that if you've been going into the settings and beta features on your ChatGPT to look for the image upload or ChatGPT Vision, it's not there. Um, you'll just happen to see this little attach image button inside of your prompt. And then it basically just replaces the default ChatGPT model. So if you're using images, then you don't have access to the Bing search or the advanced data analysis option. All right, so I've got ChatGPT open now. On my desktop, I have a folder called ChatGPT Vision. It's just full of a bunch of different types of JPEGs. So I'm gonna start throwing those at ChatGPT, sort of see what we can do with it. The first one I'm gonna open up is this. How many M's can you find? You see these all the time on Facebook or Twitter. Well, let's see if ChatGPT can quickly solve this. So ChatGPT says there's 24 M's. I looked, there's definitely a handful in there. I'm not gonna go through and count them. Let's look at the next image. All right, so the next image I have is just this math worksheet. It's multiplication with fractions. Let's see if ChatGPT can solve all these pretty quickly. All right, and it did it. Knocked out the answers for all those. Let's go ahead and look at a different example. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw the movie poster and see what information it can give us about the movie itself. All right, so now it's broke down the movie. It's giving me information about the release date, the director, the plot, who the main characters are, and then it's even given some additional notes about, about the Snyder's Cut that was released on HBO Max in 2021. Pretty cool. Let's move on and look at another example. So this is a mystery object I found on Google just by typing in mystery object. I have no idea what it actually is, but let's throw it into ChatGPT and see if it can give us an answer. So ChatGPT says this appears to be a rib massager or acupressure massager. That is not nearly as exciting as I was hoping it would be for a mystery object. Let's go ahead and look at another example. So I went to Google and I typed in old photo. This popped up. So I'm going to shoot this into ChatGPT and see what it can tell me about the photo. All right, so it tells me the image appears to be a black and white photograph, potentially from the early to mid 20th century, showing a woman and two children in front of a makeshift dwelling. The scene suggests a challenging living condition, likely during a period of economic hardship or displacement. And we could even have this go a little bit deeper. We could say, hey, based on the clothes they're wearing, what does this mean? Or describe what's happening in the background. There's a lot of different things we could do with this. But for now, I'm just going to leave that alone and go on to the next image. So I've got this meme here. So I'm going to upload. So now I've got a meme. I've seen your Facebook statuses. You're getting a dictionary for Christmas. I'm going to throw this into ChatGPT and have it explain why this is a funny meme to me. All right, so now let's describe the humor in this image. Uh, commentary on grammar and spelling. The meme suggests that the person's Facebook statuses have had so many spelling or grammatical errors that Santa felt compelled to give them a dictionary to improve. This is a playful jab at people who often make such mistakes on social media. Man, some of my social media friends and family, it's like embarrassing to look at. But let's go on to the next image. This is one of a doctor's note that I found on Google. I have no idea what's actually happening here, but I'm going to upload it and we'll see if ChatGPT is able to decipher it. It looks like it cuts off a little bit at the bottom, so it may miss some stuff. All right, so now it's giving me this. We find word or words unclear of word unclear, suffering with diabetic, mellitus, word unclear, chronic arthritis, and rheumatism, which together disables him from hard manual labor. In fact, any and but little. We recommend that he be placed on the 3% pension class role. Respectfully, signature unclear. Yeah, it even tells you the handwriting is a bit challenging to decipher, but uh, it got closer than I would have with it. So let's go ahead and take a look at another image. So I've got this picture of this maze here. I'm going to upload it into ChatGPT and ask it if it can give me step-by-step -step directions on how to get to the end of the maze. All right, and there you go. It provided step-by-step -step instructions on how to solve that maze. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next image. Just for fun, I'm going to upload this image of the Rosetta Stone and see what ChatGPT can take from it. All right, I had to rerun this one because it timed out. So it didn't give me a full breakdown, but it does say that this outlines various tax exemptions for temples, among other decrees. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at another image. So I'm going to upload this image of this x-ray here now, um, just to see if it can tell me about this break. 
That's interesting. It doesn't actually find anything. It says, upon visual inspection, the bones appear to be intact without any obvious fractures or breaks. So it misses this entire break here. All right, let's move on to something else. Here's another one I did yesterday. I took a picture of a 3D print. It says, how do I improve the quality? And it actually tells me to adjust the printing speed, the layer height. It's honestly kind of a generic answer, but when I did ask that same question without the image attached, it gave me a kind of completely different answer, even a little more generic, to be honest. All right, so now I'm gonna upload this image of a pineapple fajita that I ordered at a local place here and see if you can give me directions and a recipe on how to make this. All right, so I've uploaded the image to ChatGPT. I said, give me a recipe and instructions on how to make this. And as you can see, it says, this dish looks like a delightful pineapple fajita. Um, and it was, but it's given me the ingredient list um, and then directions as well. So for the next one, I'm gonna upload this book cover. I took a picture of straight from my bookshelf and ask if it can give me a summary of the book. All right, and so, yeah, it was able to do that. Give me a summary of that book just based on the cover that I uploaded. Let's grab something else. So now I'm gonna upload this screenshot I took on my Apple CarPlay and see if it can give me lyrics to this song. All right, so no, it cannot give <laughs> lyrics to copyrighted songs, good to know. So now I'm gonna upload this weird looking thing I found in my front yard and ask if ChatGPT has any idea what it is. All right, and based on this, it looks like it is a seed pod from a common milkweed plant. I have no idea if that's true or not. Let's look at one more example. Last but not least, I've got this Dungeons and Dragons board game. Every time I've tried to figure out how to play it, it's always like terrible at describing the directions in the manual that comes with it. I had to have someone come show me how to play it, uh, but now I'm gonna see if ChatGPT can do that. All right, so I was able to take that picture and then give me a basic rule list of how each of the phases in the game go. That's actually super helpful and way easier to understand than everything that's in the manual that this game came with. I just want to show you guys really quick. If you go to beta features on here, there's no option for this image upload. It doesn't appear here. All right, so that was just a little quick demonstration of what we can do with ChatGPT Vision. If you guys have ideas or other things you want to see, please put those in the comments below, and then I'll take a look and, and test those out and do a video for you. Otherwise, if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.